98.5 decibels. Two grams triple F black powder, homemade. A quarter inch of airspace empty in the cartridge and one third inch on the hot glue plugs. I'll be facing the plugs perpendicular to me so I don't get whacked with one of them. Ninety eight point six decibels, two grams triple F black powder, same as the last one, with added one gram of booster flash. Built that one. 110.4 decibels. Number five flash powder, three grams. See how it kind of spits out the fuse hole? It takes a, a moment for it to build up. One eleven point two. It's fun when, it, what fun you can have with a little stamp kit. Do not hold. Light on ground. Salute number, and then I'd put the number of whichever one I was using. Seventy percent potassium perchlorate, thirty percent dark aluminum. So these are using one third inch hot glue plugs, and these are just capped with paper glued in there. So we're going to do the paper ones first. Point five. One oh nine point five. Wow, it's amazing <laughs> how loud and sharp that report is, even without a, a plug. That's literally just a piece of car thin cardboard keeping it in there. Another uh, thing I did when I mixed these, I didn't pre-mix the powder. I actually poured each, um, actually poured each chemical in there individually, capped it, and then shook it to mix it. And it's a uh, Pretty good performance for just a quick shake. It's shake and bake. All right, so that one topped out at 109.5. All right, these are exact same composition, mixed the exact same way, shake and bake, <laughs> but with a thick plug on the end. Let's see if we get a higher report. One oh eight point six. Must not uh, mix that one up too good. 109.8, that's our cap out on that. Okay, once again, three grams of number 11 flash powder. This is potassium perchlorate aluminum with sulfur in it. Uh, the exact composition is in the description because the next one I'm about to do is very similar to this one. Same thing, just a little, uh, a little different on the numbers. Nine point one. 
right, 108.1. Here we go. This is a recipe I found uh, from Jeff Beck. His YouTube channel was using this. I don't remember where he got it from. If he sees this video, I'm sure he'll uh, post it in the comments. Let's move it over again. Head crater's starting to get a little deep. That might be muffling some of our sound. Plus, I don't want a bike rider to come through here and hit this. There we go. All right, three grams of the Jeff Beck solution. It felt louder. Huh, 109. One ten point two. I will say, well, that's a big ass spider. <laughs> Holy crap! I don't know if you guys can see that. I got a wide angle lens. That's one of those nope spiders. It's the kind of spider you see and you move to a different state. <clears throat> and uh, last but not least, the uh, one I wrapped with the paper, just because I want to do it. Uh, this is just a seventy thirty mix, standard flash potassium perchlorate aluminum, three grams. I want to see what's left of that paper. <laughs> 111. All right, now, the final test, the Guru de Gras, if you guys made it to this point in the video. Will any of our M80s, which, if you guys uh, are savvy enough, you may recall that the M80 was originally designed for the military to simulate live fire. Yeah, also has a lot to do with why it was banned for civilians and so popular. Anyways, will any of our M80s defeat the Glock 20, a 10 millimeter? Um, this isn't apples and apples. When an M80 goes off, all of its energy is spread out in about a 180 degree half dome. For the most part, when you fire a pistol, the majority of the sound pressure waves are going out the end of the barrel. So I'm gonna shoot two shots. I've got a berm down there I'm gonna shoot into. From the same location, I'll shoot one that way, and then I will shoot the other one that way. Make sure I don't hit them rocks. And uh, we'll see the difference between each two shots. Uh, so let's find out. I have honestly no idea if our M80s are gonna beat this. I don't think so. If you guys are gun guys, you know that the uh, 10 millimeter is is nothing to laugh at. Got a nice berm down there to shoot into. Here we go, one shot. Hey, 105.6. Maybe I can hit that water next to the berm. That's a good shot. Wish I could do that every time. Uh, 111.9. All right, so these 10 millimeters were my reloads. They're designed for target shooting. They're still plenty loud, plenty powerful, but this is straight up defensive ammunition from Underwood. And I have a feeling that these are going to win. Alright guys, the victor is my 10 millimeter factory defensive load, but that is designed to do the most possible damage you can fit into that cartridge. Um, I'll probably do it again with one inch aerial salutes um, or super M80 <laughs> pretty much hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you next time